key assumption of the Westminster model is the concept of the unitary state. And that concept of unitarity rests very uneasily with the UK's contentious membership of the European Union. This membership is contentious and it's always been so. Britain joined the then European Economic Community in 1973 and within two years, Prime Minister Harold Wilson had renegotiated the terms of membership and put it to a referendum. A very similar tactic has been employed by David Cameron, who has promised a new settlement between the UK and the EU and an in-out referendum before 2017. Britain's membership of the EU is contentious, but has it really changed how power is exercised in this country? It depends how we look at it. If we look at the machinery of policymaking, there's been a limited degree of what scholars call Europeanisation in relation to policymaking in the UK. Britain's membership of the EU is largely steered by a familiar set of institutions. The Office of the Prime Minister, the Cabinet Office, the Foreign Office and the Treasury, for example. Basically, the familiar core executive. More controversial and more uncertain is the impact of EU membership on legislation. There's a big debate about this in this country about how much legislation comes from Brussels. And the answer is it's difficult to say. Research by the House of Commons Library suggests that somewhere between 10% and 50% of legislation in this country originates in Brussels, but that zone of indeterminacy tells us just how difficult it is to measure the impact of EU membership here.